After traveling from South Korea this week, 85-year-old grandmother In Suk Chang watched the opening ceremonies with her family in Overland Park. The Olympics coming more than 60 years after she saw the horrors of the Korean War. For three months, she almost starved because the North Korean soldiers came and then they kind of uh, took control of that area. With the help of her daughter, June, Chang told stories of North Korean troops capturing her father's hometown and how soldiers forced her to play communist songs. He came to town, so she had to teach how to, you know, the song that praises Kim Il-sung. Kim Il-sung, Jang Ho. <laughs> Help finally coming when U.S. troops arrived. So when the uh, U.S. Army came to help, that's when she ran out of that camp. While watching the opening ceremonies, Chang felt troubled seeing the sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un a part of the event. As a, a person who went through Korean War, she's not all that happy. But seeing fellow South Koreans marching with North Koreans brought a much different feeling. She feels like she empath empathized with North Koreans because she know how uh, hard and poor it was back then. With the Winter Olympics now underway, In Suk Chang hopes the games can help bring the North and South together. Even though we have completely different ideologies, that we through this event we can come together Absolutely. and root for each other.